well. It looks like we are going to have to get right into it. It is going to start on Blue Pin Zones as a Splatoon 1 Trooper. I am so glad that Blue Pin returned, and honestly, better than before. Oh, yeah, definitely. Looks like we are going to see, once again, an anchor was come up. You know, I don't really consider heavy edit, heavy edit an anchor. It's more like a... I don't know. I, I don't have a cheeky goat. Either way, <laughs> looks like Nerf three times Blackdown is going to go ahead and try and get that zone as soon as possible. Seems though that. Ooh, yeah. new slider to cover the zone. That is going to go ahead and get Nerf three times a solid lead. Looks like they are going to also be able to skip. Oh, nice trade. They nice. are going to go uh, be able to start getting, you know, pushing into their. Uh, shoot. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> This is the oh, and we get a kill on, on we get a splat on the Zuka here, and it seems as though Era is taking control of the zone and pushing them back. Honestly, and we're seeing that you know that same thing that we just saw from ERA when in their match against the Postal Service. You know they are able to you know use their specials at the same time. You know coordinate, move, have that team play, and that's what pushed Nerf Rex three times last round back into their spawn. Yeah. And if, if Nerf Splashdown is not able to find like the cracks in ERA's push, then it's going to be an easy grid lockout for ERA. But and it seems like they can, and they have. Yeah, like honestly, we're seeing the same things back from three times Splashdown. Hammer going into the spawn, takes out one. Can they get a second? And they, they do. do. Can we, we see a third? Oh, so close, close, so close, close, so close. But that two down is going to mean like, that three times Splashdown is going to get a very solid lead here. Unfortunately, they do have two down, their own go down. This is going to probably be the retake for ERA. Unless they get a, ooh, ooh. they get a kill on the reef. They get a spot on the reef slider. Okay, well, you know, that was a nice little stall, but ERA is like, no, 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 we got this. Yeah, <laughs> still holding. Soft machine, able to get another excellent splat. job on the elevator. But unfortunately, like this back and forth is actually really entertaining. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I was. I'm, enjo I'm enjoying this, like, sort of conflicting sides here. Right now, we're seeing that, like, ERA is not afraid to, like, get up in their face. And that's when we'll see what you have to do. Definitely in this case. And they're able to get another splat. They're able to hold down the zone and probably lock out Nerf Triple Splashdown again, getting more points and probably taking lead from this. Elysium was running for his life out on the zone. It seems like, you know, ER uh, Nerf three times was trying to get, you know, just go for the zone. It seems like they noticed that ERA had pulled up and they were trying to get behind them to just, you know, get go for the zone, focus on objective, don't worry about the kills. We can do that later. Cooler comes out, Hammer comes out, and Reefsider comes out, taking the zone immediately, still falling to ERA. But honestly, having a penalty on the zone is still enough for them to come back, regroup, and probably get a better push going. Absolutely. Boss Tyrant getting one kill with the hammer, but unfortunately, they, he was just like out there on his own, was not able to hold the zone. They're going to have to really, like, you know, once again, work on not getting staggered. Don't know about how I feel about, you know, diving in while the crab is there, but no, hey. No, it's, it's working. It's working. <laughs> it's working. I trust working. it. And the hammer the comes hammer? out. Gets another splat. Honestly, I'm, I'm like this, like... I'm liking this aggression from Nerf, from Nerf Triple Splashdown. Right, that's going to be three down on the side of ERA, but as we know, they know how to come back in. Their retake value is, like, excellent, so I don't think we'll be seeing this hill and held for too long. Yeah. If anything, I, I think this is going to go down to overtime. This back and forth is take is going to take the whole game. Oh, absolutely. TD going for the dive, making be able to pounce and get that kill. Zuka from the left is effectively pincering three times Splashdown, leaving and them nowhere to, to go. That is going to be a wipe. Now, the real question is, how will Nerf Tool Splashdown respond to this? Surely they have, you know, they get a, they get a trade off right now, and maybe maybe with this trade they're able to push in, even though they're down one, and probably take some of the zone with strikes coming in. Going in with the strikes, smart idea, and Getting the cooler two, as well. And returning a delayed wipe, honestly. This is, an, I'm, I'm, I'm all Right, for it. Like, I mean, like, right now it seems like these teams are definitely evenly matched. You know, they know what they want to do, they know how they're going to go in. Love to see it. Comes in with a hammer. Ooh. Yeet. Oh, Ooh, close, so close. close. I've always a treat to see it. But, but the, the mini on the back line is actually going in, getting right. some splats in there. They're pushing in. Elysium, oh, tried to go for it, but that's going to be two down. Oh, Reaping. oh. Ooh, nice reap, nice reap, nice reap. Taking lead. Unfortunate. However, ERA isn't going to be out of this yet. Dropping like flies, but the kin is still trying to make something happen with four trying seconds left on the zone. Are they able to do Cannot it? Make no, it happen. takes it. Died on the zone. 
Amateur move. That was honestly a really good game. I loved the back and forth they had there. It was honestly evenly matched, and it could have been anyone's game. I can still see it, like, staying like this. Right, like, you know, because that's really how it is, is that, you know, sometimes, you know, it can be a major mistake, and then sometimes it really comes down to those, like, absolute minute mistakes. You know, you could have, yeah. like, you know, you could have crabbed too early, or you dropped down too late, or, like, it really does come down to that when you are going against a team that's evenly matched. Yeah, it's all it's all just in within the head at this point. Mm -hmm. And if both teams are able to keep that, but someone, like, it can be just one member, if someone's able to find that small mistake and use it to their advantage, Absolutely. it could change the tides, mm -hmm. literally. Excellent zones map, you know, really just like some of the most, you know, great gameplay, you know, really like zones, of course, you know, it's really chosen because, you know, it really like shows the fundamentals. And as we go into our next stage, we are probably going to see, you know, what they are able to do with those fundamentals. I believe it is Marlin Clams. Ooh. Yes, Marlin Clams is going to be the next map. I like Marlin. I, I love the map of Marlin. And honestly, Marlin Clams is pretty up there as like one of my favorite just map modes. I would like to see how they work around just getting through that little, I'd say, chokehold of the mm -hmm. fan area on both sides here. Yeah, I think, you know, for uh, the thing with Marlin is that I feel it's a bit of a, what is the word I'm looking for? Contested, not contested, either way, mixed feelings. People have mixed feelings about it. Conflicted. Conflicted, yeah. that's the word I'm yeah. looking for. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, have conflicted feelings about it because, you know, there are some people who think it's a great map, you know, love it, and others who are just like, I would rather play anywhere else, honestly. Yeah. And so, because, probably both primarily because the fans, right, is because, you know, you have to, the only way you can really get any, like, high ground is keeping those fans up. But at the same time, you know, you're not the only one who can, like, you know, paint your fan or anything yeah. like that. It's like someone is probably, like, wasting a moment trying to, like, help the team or painting mm -hmm. the floor or, like, getting a splat by painting the fan and, like, just keeping it up for the team. Mm -hmm. And while, you know, it's good to have the high ground, it's also bad to, like, not be a part of the team. It's, it's, it's like you have to manage that, like, both – you have to manage both sides of that, like – conflicting area. Yeah, I will say that, you know, as far as, you know, clams on Marlin goes, you know, they're, it's kind of rough because unlike, you know, some of the other S3 maps we've seen where, like, there's one major choke point, mm -hmm. you know, Marlin gives you the benefit of, like, having, like, that one main area, but there's also a side avenue to get to the clam basket as oh, well. Oh, yeah, yeah. And people, I don't really see people use that side, bask, that side like area to push in as well. Mm -hmm. I would like to see a lot of teams do this. Right. You know, it's so vulnerable. You know, people, if anything, people try to use it for like you know those cheeky flanks or, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But you know, some good pushes can still come from that because if you can get like, especially if you have an anchor and get them kind of set up, they can just you know reach across that gap on the fan because you know that kind of pushes the uh, other team on, at a distinct disadvantage. Oh yeah, definitely. And so right now we're just still waiting to see what these teams are going to go. What weapons do you think you'd like to see here? Um, well, I would like to see a sword. Any sword weapon on like any team, I would just like to see how they play. I'm always intrigued by all sword players because they, the weapon itself, I just like a lot. Um, I just, I know that some people don't like the weapon and how it goes, but like I just, I like to see the sort of gameplay that people have with the weapon. It's bringing out the S-Blast and a mini Splatling. Keeping the same team on the other side, it looks like. Yeah, I'll stick to what they know, but looking like it looks like uh God, I forgot what team was going to go already. My bad. It's alright. <laughs> right now, it looks like we're gonna just start out, see what's you know, get a feel for each other. People are like, looks like Nurse Splashdown is going to be just mostly you know getting paint down. Already got a kill on the side of ERA. Unfortunately, they are also gonna start dropping like flies with that crap. Is that gonna be a delayed wipe? Nope, able to hold on to the last bit of the team here. Pickle's able to jump out. I mean, like I said, you know, even if you like go back to the start, being alive is still going to be a boom to your team. Yeah, that's what matters. And they're able to push back ERA from that Ooh, push, getting a use nice flag. Great use of specials on the side of push down to be able to push them out. You know, didn't even let them be able to score a single plan aside from the one that opened with the basket. Which is really good for Nurse Splashdown. Absolutely. Vice Tyrant going in with the hammer. See if you can get a kill. Oh, Getting one, one. throwing it. Throw. No luck, so time. Don't worry, we believe in you, Pass Tyrant. 
<laughs> it will work eventually. I, should, I believe in it. Right now, we're just seeing ERA just managing to hold on. You know, they've got a lead, not a solid one, but hey, I've seen longer clan blitz matches. Of course. Anything can change. Anything can happen. And it looks like their Splashdown is able to hold the middle section, although losing to a dry shot. Retaliating with another one. Seeing the one? Ooh, no. You see, I'm for Unfortunately, not able to get anything off that Zuka, but hey, you still have to respect the Zuka. You know, you can't underestimate like how a special will make the enemy move. Definitely, it, it, it's, it's a very, very scary weapon. Or very scary, just special in general. Boss Tyrant going in on the hammer, didn't get in, the fan went up, so didn't have the chance to try and push in himself, try to eat it, no dice. Yeah, but it seems as though Nerf Slash is going to push in a little bit just to create that space since they have the numbers right now. Or used to have the numbers. You're gonna score? Ooh, misses. Miss. A good attempt though. Yeah, the point, one real thing about uh, Clam Blitz is that, you know, you really have to be aware of like how far you can throw the Power Clam because, you know, technically it is heavier than the regular clams. Yeah, yeah. A lot of games have been taken for the fact that people miss those Power Clams. Let's see if Peanut Bob come in. It looked like, you know, somebody on the side of ERA was trying to come in from the side, but Grodel was actually going to come in with the Zuka. Didn't really have any connection, but he is still going to just distract, get to distract wipe out. Splashdown just enough so they can finally get a score in. And let's see how much they can score and hold this area and how much points they can get. Yeah, right now it looks like, you know, Speedy is going to go back and try and get some clams, but unfortunately, no one really had any extra clams on them to keep that basket open. Yeah. Godel's still in their area and still getting picks, still getting some splats. Oh, and they're gone now. It was still worth it, though. They can they held this by, and now they can get another push going. A reset oh, coming in, very, very smart, unfortunate. Very smart to keep that fan up. Yeah. Eden trying to find a way out, not having any luck. Gets just unfortunately some. gets cut, just locked out. Yeah. And even though they scored, let's see if they can get some more points here. Gets two more, two more clams in. That's not bad, not bad at all. Able nope. to at least pick up and save their clams. Well, that means that they will have two pity clams to work with. But of course, you know, you can be seen when you're holding a power clam. So yeah. it is going to be still really hard. High Once risk, again, man. just very close with the hammer throws. I'm sure it'll connect eventually. It's going to be so great when it does connect. Right now, it looks like Slashdown is really just kind of really struggling to be able to move on the stage. Got ran over, jumped out. Right, looks like there might be like this might be the time. There's two down on the side of ERA, but like Splashdown just isn't moving in like they should. Yeah, they, they, they even though they're down numbers, they should probably still keep where they keep the plan on the floor. Yeah, like you know, right now, once again, two down. We need to be seeing moving. You know, that's the thing with Clan Blitz is that like once you, you cannot like you know spend any time resting. You're always on the clock. And they okay, realize this. Score. And score. Oh, that nice. Get okay. some more points. Oh, okay, that nice beef slider. Popping Somebody specials has here. to have clams. Okay, One three, down, throws a full oh, wipeout. Oh, Can they take lead here? Can they take it? They, they yes, take lead. Okay, they now, got now, here's They got a hold. They got a hold. Nice. They're probably going to get the pity, right? Next, yes. Can they, get, can they get the jump in before it closes? Can the jump? Or they score this? Oh. No. Ooh. It was close. It was close. Oh, it's still good. It's still good. Now Still they just have to hold. excellent push on the side of Flashdown. And that's the thing that can be so scary about Clams, Ooh. is that, you know, you think, like, it, like I said, it doesn't always have to be the big push, but in Clams, a big push can be terrifying. Exactly. People can get so many Clams in such a short amount of time. Now, all Nerf Selection has to do is just hold their area from a tremendous push going in. And the best thing to do is get some specials, pop them from the Mewtwo, call Only it a... less than seven seconds left. There's already one down on the side of e on, uh, the side of Splashdown. Ooh, another goes down. This is looking dangerous. Three There's down. already three down. Already able to score. Pickles, Can they score? Pickles able to defend and hold one off. Can he stop Pickles? Stop can. the ball! But they're still in danger. Someone from the other side can still pick it up. They're able to hold them off. Sweetie, on their own. Sweetie has to push in, manage. running out of time. They don't have, they have no time. I don't think they'll make it. A valiant effort. Excellent. That is that is a good hold from Nerf Splashdown. Excellent play from Nerf Splashdown. And you saw at the beginning how like they couldn't really push in. They didn't have, have like that moment of like, of like aggression. And then it just happened in a flash. They were able to take lead. They were able to take so many points mm -hmm. from just like what they lost. And they, they won.